Today we are outlining five requirements that must be addressed before our government will consider supporting any new heavy oil pipeline proposal in British Columbia. The first requirement is consistent with our position to date. We will continue to insist upon successful completion of the environmental review process and will only consider support if the joint review panel makes a positive recommendation. Our second and third requirements are to insist on world-class marine and land-based spill uh, prevention, response and recovery systems. These systems would help prevent a spill to begin with and that of course is our highest priority. Our government must be satisfied that legal requirements regarding Aboriginal and treaty rights have been addressed. First Nations must be provided with the opportunities, information and resources necessary to participate in and benefit from these proposed projects. We will not contemplate support for new heavy oil pipeline proposals before we see the evidence of such, in such initiative and effort. Our expectation as a government is that there should be strong and enduring relationships with First Nations. That commitment and that practice is reflected in the principles we have outlined today. And finally, we have reviewed the benefits that would come to British Columbia from the proposal for the Northern Gateway Pipeline. Given that BC would shoulder 100% of the marine risk and a significant portion of the land-based risk, we do not feel the current approach to sharing these benefits is appropriate. A fair share of benefits will be the focus of negotiations should there be any interest in pursuing a new heavy oil pipeline in British Columbia. British Columbians are fair and reasonable, but they have, a, they have to have a confidence that a fair share of benefits would come to this province before we would consider supporting any such proposal.